Matthew Fox, civilized may be wild always. <coughs> civilized may be wild always. Matthew Fox. How was your weekend? Civilized? <laughs> Maybe a little wild? <laughs> Mine was fantastic. I was out cycling the hills with my friend Bob, <coughs> enjoying the last remnants of summer. And we stopped after about 30 kilometers. And Bob got off his bike, puffing, and wheezing just a little bit. And he turned to me and he said, Matt, you're a horse. <laughs> Yay! <I'm not. laughs> I said. But of course, he was, he was referring to the power and the speed of our cycling. But the truth be told, I still like to horse around a little bit. Maybe it's not as much prancing as I once did. And whilst I'd like to think that in my day I was a bit of a stallion, <laughs> I'm much nearer to being an old Mac. <laughs> and way, way beyond being put out to stir. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, friends, have you ever noticed how many times we get compared to animals as we go through life? And that's very true for me. As much as I like to think I'm civilized, I'm still a little bit wild. And maybe it's that that has caused me to be compared to animals. It all started when I was a young boy growing up in the tropical island of Fiji. I was always monkeying around up the trees, swinging from branch to branch, so much so that people started to think I'd gone ape. <laughs> Quite strange behaviour for a young boy let alone a civilized man. Maybe it's entertaining for the children, but not so for my daughter, who one day brought a young man to the house, and when he came in the door, I greeted him and started... <laughs> went by and I was in my teens and I was at high school and I reached my full potential. <coughs> six foot six. And people started to call me names. They started to call me giraffe. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, it came in very useful at the damn time. I always seem to be able to find the question. And we skip forward a few more years into my 20s. And my friend said to me, Bob, different Bob, not the same Bob. He said, do you want to go skydiving? Well, I'm maybe six foot six, but I don't have heights. <laughs> and I said, no thanks. But Bob was fairly persistent. And he kept asking and asking and asking. And I kept saying, no thanks. So one day he turned to me and said, Matt, are you chicken? I'm <laughs> 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 well, not sure what you know what I mean. I think I gave myself away. <laughs> I was a little bit chicken on that occasion. But Bob was persistent, and it wasn't long until we were up in an aircraft. And Bob was leaping out the door, and it was my turn next. And I was moving like a sloth towards the door. Pretty slow. Anyway, the jump master got me to the door, and he got me out the door, but I wasn't falling. I was clinging on to that wing strut like a, like a baby koala, clinging to his mother back, you can almost picture it. But he was persistent as well, and soon enough, I was out. I let go. And there I was, soaring through the air, like some majestic eagle in my mind. <laughs> I was much more like 
an ostrich that had forgotten it couldn't fly. And I was holding on to the earth with the wind rushing through my face. But that was some years ago. And I think nowadays the wild side has left me much more and I'm more civilised. Maybe not wiser though and on the side of technology and so on. Because my daughter came to me the other day and she started talking about Snapchat and tweets. And I said to her, huh? <laughs> she said, Dad, Dad, you're just an old dinosaur. <laughs> and that for sure is true. <laughs> but as you can see from my stories and anecdotes, we can often get compared to animals as we go through life. Whether it is in seriousness or in jest. And as I look around the audience today, I think to myself, civilised or wild? And I might think, but I would never say, <laughs> that there may be a couple of cougars or bears <laughs> amongst the audience. <laughs> Maybe a <laughs> and certainly one old sly fox. <laughs> what type of animal are you? <laughs> I'm going to silence me.